Hi everyone and welcome back to Ladies of Lavender. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and like to join the Ladies of Lavender family. All right, for today's video, we are going to do something really special for Black History Month. For Black History Month, we wanted to film something special to celebrate a Black woman who drastically changed sanitary napkins or pads for the better. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you guys about Ladies of Lavender's one year anniversary coming up in just a few days. For our one year anniversary, we're challenging everyone to do one act of service or kindness and taking a quick picture and sending it to us either through Instagram or through our email, ladiesoflavender20 at gmail.com. We're also hosting an Instagram Live on February 12th from 6.30 to 7 p.m. Central Time. But I would really encourage you to go watch that video or go check out our Instagram if you want more information. All right, let's get right into the video. During the 1930s, women were still using cloth pads and rags on their periods because tampons weren't widely available and they were labeled indecent for regular use. So this is where Mary Beatrix Davidson Kinner comes in. At just 18, Kinner came up with a revolutionary idea. She invented an adjustable belt with a built-in moisture-proof napkin pocket. The napkin pocket would be filled with cloth and the belt was used to keep the sanitary napkin in place. You guys have probably seen pictures of these. They were widely used in the 50s, even 60s. And that is all thanks to Kinner. This innovative idea would give women so much more freedom as they would be able to leave the house when they were on their period and not have to worry about leaking. But it wasn't easy for Kinner. Because she was a black woman, she faced gender and racial discrimination. It took more than 30 years before she could secure a patent in 1957. On one occasion, a company reached out to her because they were really interested in her idea. The company sent down a representative to see her and talk to her about her idea. But when they got there, they realized that not only was she a woman, but she was black. Now, Mary Beatrix Davidson Kinner in an interview said, quote, Sorry to say, when they found out I was black, their interest dropped. The representative went back to New York and informed me that the company was no longer interested. Towards the 1980s, sanitary belts were discarded and instead pads were made with an adhesive backside that could be sticked into underwear. While Kenner's idea was eventually dropped in the 1980s, she paved the way for new and improved versions of pads. Without her determination to make menstruation more manageable, we might not have the pads we have today. So take a second to think about Mary Beatrix Davidson Kenner whenever you go to put on a pad. So my original plan for this month was to put out a Black History themed video every week, but sadly I wasn't successful in my search for topics. With that being said, I left multiple links down below for articles, videos, and websites that you can use to educate yourself on Black History during Black History Month. I really, really, really encourage you guys to go check them out. It's really important that we celebrate and educate ourselves during this amazing month. I also left all of the links down below where I got my information for this video, so if you're interested in learning more about her, she was actually an incredible inventor. She invented so many different things, not just the sanitary belt. So if you're interested in learning more about her, go check out the links down below. Now, if you have any questions about today's video or any period-related questions in general, you can send us an email at ladiesoflavender20 at gmail.com. You can send us a DM on Instagram at ladiesoflavender, or you can leave a comment down below. And with that being said, make sure to follow us on Instagram at ladiesoflavender. We post every week to give you guys a heads up on what video we are posting for the week, but donations are active every other month, so we are constantly posting pictures, giving you guys updates, where we're donating, y'all's donations, and stuff like that. So I would really encourage you guys to follow us over on that platform to get more inside information. And I'm so sorry that we have not been putting out videos at a steady stream. It has been a very difficult month for um, just getting out content. It's been really hectic, but hopefully we will be able to get into a more regular video output. But I think that we might just switch to doing two videos a month, but I'm not really sure. I will keep you guys updated though. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I'll see you next week.